Welcome everybody to a test run of Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. As far as I know, this is the first Armored Core game that's a mainline numbered title that has a subtitle. Well, Armored Core 1, I mean they didn't call it 1, it was just called Armored Core. But 2, 3, 4, and 5, that's it. They're just called 2, 3, 4, and 5. But here we have 6 Fires of Rubicon. I don't know. Also calling it now, by the way, Armored Core 4's expansion was called 4 Answer, but the word for, F-O-R, haha, -ha, funny audio pun, and Armored Core 5's expansion was called Verdict Day, which, I don't know, Verdict starts with a V, and that's 5, I guess, I don't know, and, uh, Six has a subtitle, but I'm going to call it now. I'm calling it now. When they eventually release an expansion for this game, it's going to have victory in it. It's got to have victory, because VI, which is six, it's got to be. I'm calling it now. I, I actually called it a long time ago. You can find it on Twitter, but we'll, we'll find out. In any case, let's play the game. I don't know what this is going to be. I, for one, am hyped. Considering the last Armored Core game was on PS3, like, those games were, like, what, 4 gigs? This one's 46? Look at that sexy title screen. Ah, damn it, where's the any button? I guess I'll just try X. Oh, it worked. Wow. You, you, know, you know what I like about FromSoft is not having this obnoxious stuff. Maybe this is for a multiplayer thing. To be fair, the PS2 games wouldn't have had online, but like, go away with this. Privacy and sniff, oh, oh, shut up. Data usage, can I decline that? Am I allowed to decline that? Okay, cool. All right, here we are, logging onto a game server that I don't care about. Welcome to online multiplayer, I don't care. Uh, system immediately. Network settings. Uh, launch setting is offline. Gotta make damn sure that I do that first. Alright, there we go. I remember that getting really old in Souls every time I would start, like, I would boot up the game. It would say, oh, uh, you can't seem to connect to, uh, online. And I'd be like, yeah, I know. Still haven't bought PS Plus. So how about you don't even ask me. Let's do, actually, is there anything else to do with game settings? Nothing for controls. I guess, I'll, oh, here we go. Okay, let me, let me see if I get used to this. Right shoulder weapon, right hand weapon. This already feels a little different. X is jump, circle is boost, and square is quick boost. Yeah, didn't square used to be... Oh, jeez. Was it just firing the gun? Anyway, R1 right shoulder, L1 left shoulder. That's already different. I mean, I, I know I have full-on 10 Armored Core games I have not played, but ooh, la-di-da, right and left shoulder buttons. Ooh. Uh, and then right hand, left hand, so separate things as well. Fair enough. Um, target assist... Assault boost, okay. Scan option, purge weapon? Huh. Repair kit, oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's apparently a new thing for this game is you have like Estus flasks. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Uh, but all right. I'll, I'll have to get used to this, but I'll try it. New game. Adjust brightness, we're pumping it. Next. Yeah, sound effect volume, I'm probably gonna wanna lower that. It would be nice if older Armored Core games offered that option, because those did get quite loud. Matchmaking region, don't care. Voice chat, player name. Next. Alright, alright, here we go. Close to Rubicon. Wake the dog up. 
Yeah, Rubicon is the planet, I think. There's some material we want. This looks gorgeous. So we're not doing a music video CG opening scene. We're going straight into voices. Can I hook up PS3 data in a USB and put it on the internet, or put it into the PS5 and import that data from 10 years ago? Up the dialogue volume. Uh, I'm afraid to press anything during the cutscene, but I'll, I'll get on that. The sound effect was certainly louder. This game's already shattering science rules because I could hear things in space. Zero out of ten. And I'm afraid to turn up my, my game audio volume in general because that'll just make the sound effects all louder. Does look gorgeous. Your position is grid one three five. Off target, but within permissible range. There's a catapult ahead. Use it to close the gap. And I'm playing, just seamless transition. No. <laughs> Okay, let me first of all, so we, we just go in. Uh, anyway, system, let's do um, sound settings. Let's do voice volume, let's pump it. Hopefully that works. So restart mission just immediately, just select new game and they go into it this way. So we don't have a music video opening. Although I did hear that they brought back the, uh, the composer for the other Armor Core games, which is awesome. Hello there, Koyuki, welcome to the stream. How's it going? So, camera feels smooth enough. Movement. I think it took me a second to move. Yeah, just, just a fraction. Jump. Hover. Oh, that's fast. That's pleasantly fast. Um, square shoot. I don't really want to do that yet. R2. Oh, well. R1. Oh, yeah, square is not shoot. That was R2. R1. Missiles. L1. Nothing. Okay. I have a laser blade in my left hand, not my right hand. I can hold down the button for a stronger swing. That is sexy. Alright. This is gorgeous. And I, I really do fly quickly. So I have to reach the catapults. Is there was there a run okay, yeah, the boost. Hold X to ascend. Where's my... Oh, there's my boost meter. Can I slightly regenerate my boost, like, mid-fall? Yeah, but it takes too long for it to be worth it. I like that just walking into stuff breaks them, because I'm a giant mech. Watch this be like Zone of the Enders. I look at something the wrong way. Whoops. A hundred million civilians died. Sorry. So there's my goal. My god, I fly fast. This is nice. Uh, energy consumption. Yep. Yeah, that's standard information for from for um, not for FromSoft for Armored Core. Let's just pop these little things. Bonk, bonk, bonk. There's no feel when I do it. Like there's no rumble on the controller. I just kind of watch them disappear. It's a little weird because Demon Souls, I know it was made by a different company, like the, the remake, Bluepoint, but they pushed the rumble in the controller, like the haptic stuff, so hard when you bumped into stuff. I know this game isn't a PS5 exclusive, but like there's no feedback at all when I bump into stuff. I kind of expected a controller rumble. Oh, there's L3, Jesus. Uh, targeting controls. 
I automatically targeted on screen enemies. Nice. When there are multiple enemy closest, move the camera to change. Okay. Alright. I really appreciate that I have like little side thrusters that go off when I strafe. Like, that's kind of great. All right. Yeah, rapid fire. I know. Target assist. R three on or off? Okay. I don't think I used to that because I'm used to pl pressing R three to log uh, lock on. Even though, like, the game automatically locks on. I like that I can see the little health bars. That's immensely useful. Because, uh, in older Armored Core games, at least in the first five I played, you don't get their health bar. You just have to keep hitting them until they eventually fall down. So I appreciate that I can see enemies' health. That's novel for Armored Core. Unless I'm missing out on the past ten games. Multi-lock. Hold down, R1. That makes sense. Also, notice that I was able to fire missiles without having locked onto anything first. I don't remember if that was an option in older Armored Core games. I think you absolutely had to lock onto something. Whoops. To be able to do that. Well, I'll try it. That's pretty cool. Oops. There we go. And they fire missiles at me. It's fine. I am pretty floaty. Access with triangle. Okay. Uh, repair kits. Right. How many? Oh, okay. Up to three times per mission, but not in rapid succession. So I have three repair kits. Patch it up. Oh, and I could see how much my maximum health is. I started at 6,000, so I'm assuming that, you know, even though I only took 1,000 damage, they would have prompted me to heal no matter what at this point. Two repair kits remaining. Oh, that's cool. And they are used instantly. There's no animation of me drinking from the Estus or whatever. It just happens. I'm really loving these side thrusters. That's where you're landing. Access the catapult. I'm pretty excited about this. Let me just check if there's anything on the set like these boxes. Nice. Get out of here. Okay, I thought it was raining. It's just little particles flying around. I I look forward to this. Oh, I gotta wait, so there could be a mission where I'm getting attacked while waiting for this thing to activate. But here we go. Oh, it's in-game. Damn, alright. Okay, no it's not. Have a good night, Falcophon. I look forward to seeing potentially some familiar mix, even though I don't have a great knowledge of the series. I've only played like a third of it, and by a third of it, I mean up to two of six, which is kind of funny, because it is about a third. Welcome to the first level of Zone of the Enders, the second runner, I guess. Yeah, I heard about this. I'm not even a raven yet. I have to, like, scavenge some dead guy's license to pretend that I have a license. So I'm not even worthy of being a raven yet. Ah, uh, quick boost, super accelerate. L and square? Oh, right. I, I was doing L3. Oh, that's good. You 
You know what? <laughs> oh my god. Feels pretty nice. Hello there, the space dog. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Oh, these little juke boosts are pretty good. Assault boost. Right, right, right. Rapidly approach. Yeah. And if I move around during the boost, I cancel the boost, which is very good to know. Oh, that's right. I could scan with... Or you could just do it for me. I was going to say down. There's my little ping. I have to wait to do it again. There's a little bar on the lower left below my repair. Boing. Alright, so I have three possible locations. Do you think speedrunners know which location to do? Or do you think I have to actually search all three locations? I'll just sweep left to right. to assault boost just really get over there that does cost energy though I'll have to watch out for that yeah now I'm completely out of energy although the refill was instant god this is nice we got enemies I don't know what the scan like does <laughs> Oh, there? Okay, there we go. There we go. Yep. Block this chump. Do I have to recharge when I use my laser blade or what? When do I... Oh, I see. Okay. On the lower right of the screen it said overheat. Got it. I can't just swing my blade around forever. And... Have a good night, Baku into Space Dog. I'm gonna see if I can get me a license. Triangle, I assume. Yep. Extract the pilot data. I'll analyze it from my end. Now, why is this guy interested in helping me? Unless, like, he makes, like, a cut? Anyway, license code Thomas Kirk. No interesting information about him. He's independent, I guess. License expired. Damn. This one's already. bad, huh? Where do they go? Oh, uh, what's closer? This middle one is much closer. Akra? Balam? No kidding? They're still around? If I'm remembering this right? But I only have 12 hours before it expires. What, what do I do? Run to base and renew it? Or do I need the third license? Corp license. Easily traced. Forget it. Oh. Fair enough. Fair enough. By the way, there's no XP in the game, so like the only reason I really should be killing Max is because I get paid at the end of a mission. The question is, like I'm not a merc yet, is there any reason to kill Max other than 
they can't hurt me if they're already dead. Irritants all around me. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Hmm. Maybe I'm good. Maybe I'm good. Anyway, whoop, hang on, there's my problem. I guess there's still stuff around me, but maybe I shouldn't care quite so much. Never mind, something shot me. From what, what is this? Oh, hello. Tell you, it's satisfying. Oh, hello. Deal with them, sixty-one. Now he's explicitly telling me to deal with them. I want to keep a low profile on that, buddy. things. Am I good? No, I'm not. How about now? <laughs> Am I finally good? fine. Annoying little drone things, get out of here. We cool? I think we're cool. My health is not looking great, though. One repair kit remaining. And this license. Monkey Gordo? What? Um, Independence, and I have 15 days. Hey, looks like we have ourselves a winner. Sir. I've picked up one more wreck, 621. Wow, so I actually need order. to find all three. Go and check it out. You know what'd been cooler if you picked up one more wreck like before. <laughs> you sir are unbelievable. I do like that I appear to be able to boost in midair. Or not. I 
Ugh. This is this is what I remember getting used to the the boost or the the the, uh, the ascendance. There we go. Get out of here. Do you think? Nice. Anyway, vertical catapults. Oh my God! This is the the torrent spring thing from Elden Ring. <laughs> Amazing. I'm doing that now. Good lord, that's awesome. Ah, oh, delightful. Try accessing the rack. Nobody attack me while I'm doing this, okay? Everything's fine? We're cool here? Checkpoint reached. RB23. Rank fits the bill. Call sign. Whoop, goodbye. Looks like they were on to you after all. Checkpoints during a battle. Impossible. But it doesn't matter. Take it out now and they won't have enough to ID you. Yeah, you say that. Do you think I could get stupid? I was kind of hoping to uh, comically use a sword on it. These missiles aren't doing me any favors. Do swords even work on this thing? AP at 50%. This guy's got too much health. Am I supposed to lose this? They are telling me how to not die, so I don't know. I don't think I'm hitting it. Unless I'm supposed to do it, like, in the cockpit specifically? I voted the explosion like a pro, like a hero. At 30%. Oh, I think I connected with it that time, actually. I mean, I'm gonna die, but... Oops, I should get my energy back. I'm not even thinking. Oh. Uh, restart from checkpoint. I wonder if you get punished for, um, like having restarted during a mission. That's it. They full heal me and back. get all of my, uh, repair kits back. Which seems weird. Am I paying for my health after the end of a mission or not? Because if I can just die and get everything back, what does that mean? No, they weren't. They have no idea I'm here. I'm in no mood to pick a fight with the PCA. But it doesn't matter. Take it out now. They won't have enough to ID you. Yeah, the sword does damage. I'm a little less than pleased with the part where... There we go. I was going to say with the part where they ran away from me as I was boosting. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing real damage here. Alright, fair enough. AP at 30%. Two repair kits for AP at 50%. Two repair kits for AP at... I'm getting wrecked. Repair kit remaining. How come I'm taking all of the damage this time? I lasted a lot longer the first time.
I don't know, I, I feel like I'm playing terribly. There's the charge shot, which appears to have actually hurt it. Oh, whoops. I pressed the wrong button first. Oh, is he out of bounds? Well, that's cheating, sir. Oh, guess, guess I'll die. This is tricky for a first boss. Oh, on mission re- okay, I get charged based on how I end the mission, and that's it. But I'll get dinged for score if I use checkpoints and resupplies. Okay, fair enough, thanks. Uh, hopefully score doesn't affect unlocks or anything like that, because I just don't care about score. What I care about is beating levels and unlocking, you know, in-game stuff. Fifty-three. That David Hater delivery. What? what? Well, does it not count? No, it does count. I was gonna say, does it not count until he gets his health bar? But we're good. Yeah, the the one charge attack does quite a chunk. I'll, I'll have to compare that to uh, the the twin hit. One, two... Twin hits better, it seems. AP at 50%. Oops. I keep pressing R2 to boost because that's how I'm used to doing it, and instead I'm just pointlessly firing my gun. Bonk. Boink. Oops, missed that other hit, that's fine. AP at 30%. I gotta get used to actually boosting with Circle. I know it seems obvious, considering how you dodge in every other FromSoft game, but... Not for Armored Core. Oh, right, over the, right, right above the pilot shot, that really nailed him. I was just gonna heal what didn't happen. Oh well. And yeah, is rebinding a thing? Oh, I, I guess I won. Evasive aerial maneuvers. Hold X to ascend? Wow. I never knew I could ascend in armored core. Incredible. Can I walk away from it after pressing try? It looks like I can. No, I can't. No, I can't. I gotta stick around. Alright, it's fine. But yeah, if I can rebind controls, that'd be nice. And have, like, square shoot and just play with old, weird armored core controls. Because I'm very used to holding R2 and L2 to boost in those respective directions. I wonder if it does more damage if I get above the cockpit, because I, I did it below and that wasn't bad, but... Ah, I, could, I couldn't quite hold up, and now I'm just standing right in front of his machine guns, utterly wasting my effort. Utterly waste of time, or utter uh, waste of uh, time and effort. This is a weirdly difficult boss for the, the tutorial. AP at 50%. And I don't like juking around in the air in any from or any um armor core game. Like ever. Like aerial controls just like piss me off in every armored core game I've played, so the fact that this is the first boss is a little That's frustrating. It. What? Looks like they were on to you 
after all. No room to pick a fight with the PC. Ah, scratch the body. But it doesn't matter. Take it out now. It doesn't matter. Metal no gear. Bonks me right in the face. I'm already at half health. Like that's absurd. Like I don't mind that this is how you fight the boss, but the fact that he does like half of your health in one combo is insane. Two repair kits remaining. Ah, uh, being above him doesn't appear to help. Well, again, I broke something, right? There's all the sparks. What do I? What am I breaking? Can I break his giant guns? Do you think? Wouldn't that be cool? We got what we came for. We got what we came for. <sighs> yeah, see, once again, like, I'm just tanking a thousand hits. I appreciate that I seem to be able to boost an unlimited amount. Because that, that used to cost energy, I think. Like, you can't boost absolutely forever. Whoa, that was kind of cool. I rode off the back. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm already in critical condition again. Like, look at, all, look at all that damage at once. Like, I'm going to die again because he just hits me with everything. And now he's out of the arena where I can't hit him, which is really cool that that's allowed to happen. Oops, there he is. And I know I could use cover, but that stuff comes completely horizontally. That's insane. And what, shoot before you boost? I mean, I'm kind of... Well, I can't say I'm shooting all the time. My gun's not exactly rapid fire. That's it. Try accessing the mech. Try accessing the mech. Ugh. And staggering is a huge thing in this game. That is pretty cool. I just don't know how I stagger him. If I have to hit a particular part or something. I mean, I, I know in later Armored Core games you can start messing with people's parts. Like, I forgot what game did that. Because it's not a game that I've personally... Oh, okay. It's not, it's not, it's not a game I've uh, personally gotten to yet. I think it's like Nexus or something. Bonk. Boink. Yeah, the, the little juke boosts take up my energy, but just holding down cir or yeah, holding down circles is not, which is kind of cool. Bonk, boink. Oh, I see what it was. I'm building up his red bar. I'm building up his Sekiro meter. So I, it, now it's red, and I broke it. And now I'm doing way more damage with my regular gun. Okay, now I'm not again. I, I was paying attention to the bar, not my mech, but it's fine. Now, now I see what happened. I built up his, uh, yes, I built up his parry meter until it broke and then it ruined his day. That's what that was. In Sekiro, that would kill. In this game, it just lets me do big damage. Now I get it. I'm going to go ahead and guess that that's an Armored Core 6 exclusive, because Sekiro, like, it, it was made after Sekiro, and other Armored Core games were made before Sekiro. <laughs> Bonk, bonk. Yeah, look at his yellow bar. It's crazy. I gotta maintain that yellow bar. The missiles bring it up quite a bit. Damn. Gotta maintain that yellow bar so I can set him up for further attacks. Now I get it. And if I stagger him, instead of with the sword, but before the sword... Then when I actually hit him with the sword, it's going to do comically absurd damage. Now I get it. Although I think he's out of the arena, which makes it so I can't hit him, so I'm going to hold off. I can't believe he just flies out of the arena. That's full-on cheating. But that, that just makes me mad. But... I'll 
I'll set this guy up. Yeah, see, he's almost staggered. Uh, we're doing this now. But, like, it really makes me mad that he actually can just hover around outside the arena. That, that just seems, like, poor. Like, I, I can I can call my repeated deaths to, like, a skill check, but the fact that he could fly outside the arena is just shenanigans. Like, that's not cool. So there we go. And yeah, like Baku's saying, yeah, it's all about keeping up the pressure. Yeah, my, my sword swings do crazy poise damage, so I'll have to prepare for that. Bonk, bonk. Yeah, see, he's already almost broken. Can I break him again? That's the big question. But not with the sword. Well, here, there, boom. Hit him again. And hit him again. Yeah, that's insane damage. There we go. That's how it's done. Wow. This this is like Bloodborne then. Like really like really, really, really keep up the pressure. That okay, that's interesting. You have my attention now. What happened? I don't know what that emergency sound was, but in any case. Yeah, let's keep up that pressure. I will say maintaining targeting seems to be easier than in previous Armor Core games, which is cool. AP at, AP at. Alright, this might finish him. Or I could just not hit him. Let's break that bar, break that bar. Oh, did I just win? Completely? I guess breaking the bar itself does loads of damage on top of whatever further hits you do. I guess I'm good. First try, everybody. Amazing. I'm so good at video games. Confirmed. Heavy combat helicopter is down. That's all for our work here today, 621. Oh, I can be staggered. Maybe that's what that was. Okay, license code Raven. I did it. Uh, expires in three days. That's a problem. Yeah, rank is blank slash F. I don't know if that mean, means my rank is F or don't even get that. But expires in three days. I guess I'll run into the center and be like, no, wait, no, I'm totally a raven for real, you guys. And then I'll I'll be a real armored core. That's weird. So my call sign is Raven, but I am not a Raven? Illegal entry. Because normally Ravens are just the people who work for the organization. Now, to be fair, I keep saying this. There are ten Armored Core games I have not played. And one of them is literally called The Last Raven. So I wonder if the Merc organization is just dead and... The fact that I'm calling myself Raven is some sort of, like, wink. Do you remember our older games? <laughs> Alright. So, um, base pay 170 thou, no bonus pay, probably doesn't even apply to this mission. But sometimes you can get little perks, and there are also sometimes ways you can lose money. Like, don't destroy this target. Uh, expenses, my health, and ammunition costs. Okay, and there's penalties. No penalties. Probably not even possible on this mission. So I could have made 170,000. I instead made 105 because I got smacked around and I, I spent repair kit. Okay. All right. Although I got to say, like, oh, wait, no, 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 maybe not. Maybe not. No, I was going to say, where's the music? But I don't I don't think you did get music in the older games for the mission clear screen. All right. All right. Coral, a sublime substance. Discovered on Rubicon, a planet on the frontier of developed space. For a time, Coral was a revolutionary energy resource and data conduit, poised to transform human society 
by leaps and bounds. They called it the Fires of Ibis, a storm of flame that tore through the stars, leaving lethal contamination. In its we get Fires of Ibis and Rubicon? This is a disaster. The kindling was thought to have been utterly consumed, forever lost. However, on Rubicon, the embers continued to burn. Humanity would inevitably return to stoke the fire. Yeah, they're talking about embers burning and stoking the fire, and the back of the case says, let the last cinders burn. Like, is that just repeated attempts of telling me, just let souls go? We made three of them, kind of four, we're done. <laughs> All right. MIA status, restoring access privileges. I forgot about this in the older games. I have a name, but like, it's also some weird number. Welcome back, Raven. So he refers to me by my call name. Welcome back, Raven. Looks like you passed the authentication. Authentication. Raven. <laughs> Visit Scenic Rubicon 3. This notification follows restoral of access privileges. All Mind provides a combat training simulator to support its mercenaries. Your license was in a suspended state. Perhaps you may need a refresher. As an added incentive, completion of the exercises will be rewarded with AC parts. You stand to benefit regardless. Thanks, All Mind. Thaw mind. Access granted sortie. Okay. Also, oh my, I swear I was just thinking of something. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, regarding the chat comments. Yeah, like, people theorize that each numbered Armored Core game is some kind of, like, just like a full-on reboot or maybe another universe or whatever. I don't know if this counts as canon or if it's purely fan service, but Armored Core 2, another age, had a couple of missions where you got to fight old bosses but the setups for those missions, like, like bosses from older games, where the setups for those missions were like, we got a we got a hidden area with this thing in it. Whatever you do, do not tell anybody about what you saw here. So like, I don't know, I, whatever. Anyway, uh, let's go. Yeah, access granted. The thing most people like <laughs> about these this uh, series. You can go hard in this game. Emblem. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, Tenderfoot. This is a, a pre-order bonus. G13 Raven. Um, this, I think, is just what the game always gives me. Interestingly, it's Balam. A couple of... Oh, that's a core. Core arms. Okay, I guess they're giving me the Melander C3 set. I'm assuming it's just what I start the game with but I can put it back on if I want to. There's the biped legs. So I probably don't have much going on right now. Sortie on missions, or hone your skills using support simulators. Oh, that's cool. Um, design. Oh boy. Look at this sexy uh, background here. What does data mean? Manage assemblies, appearance settings, what? Oh, you could save particular app part, like, um, I guess just full-on mechs. That's amazing, because I've definitely had moments in older streams where I'm like, oh, let me put this other stuff back on, and I'm scrolling through this long menu, and there's a little bit of loading with each tick, because it's a PS2 game. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Image editor. Combine pieces to create original images. If online, you could upload images that you have created. Oh, yeah, yeah, through this. Okay. No saved images. Downloaded. Could I actually just go online and download an image and put it on my thing? Uh, decals. Emblems in your possession or make your own, like in the old games. Even the original game let you make a decal. The very first game in 1997. 
but apparently I could put them on all five parts. Now, I don't know how advanced the PS2 and PS3 games got, but in the ones I've played, you have an emblem. It was on, like, your shoulder or your core or something. <laughs> Custom decals? Preset, 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 user. I mean, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, this thing, well... I wonder if that was the DLC thing. Or not the DLC, pre-order thing. So are these the companies? Schneider. Furlong Dynamics. Melanite, Takigawa. Boss, or maybe like Boss, Baos. Uh, Elkana, what's the first one? Air Glurk, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um Alright, anyway. Yeah, I genuinely wonder if I could put an image like onto my flash drive or something and just upload it. That'd be amazing. Uh also regular decals, custom de yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. That's cool that it's an option. Uh, paint. This is, yeah, this goes hard. I haven't seen a From Software game give you a color spectrum. Well, well, no, that, that that's not true. Y you have your hair and your eye color in, um, I think skin color as well, actually, in, in the, the Souls games. Yeah, never mind. That's fair. But we, we got also, oh boy, left and right arm are different. Oh, nice. Wait, no. Oh, you- no way! You could paint your guns, too? That is sick. Can I make the, uh, the tacky, like, Stars and Stripes American Flag, uh, Metal Wolf Chaos design <laughs> for my mech? Uh, assembly. Just basic assembly. Use the parts that you have. So, gun, gun... Oh. There we go. I don't have a left back unit. And I got nothing to work with. Head, core, arms, legs, booster. FCS, the, the missile detector thing. Or the, the uh the reticle. Generator expansion. I guess I don't have much to work with. Uh I have money. Is it possible for me to buy stuff yet? Can I not do that yet? Because it says modify, but like I don't think there's anything I can do. I, I guess there's clearly an option missing between AC Design and Sortie. That's fair enough. Oh, there are pattern settings. No kidding. Thank you, Jared. Uh, like I'm not going to really fuss with that right now, but that's very cool. Oh, right, the core. So... Better for AP and attitude stability. Better defense, but it's heavier. Same deal. Yeah, just worse on energy, better on AP. Better load limit, actually. Let me just see what this looks like. <laughs> All right, yeah, there's the pre-order bonus there looking a little different now. I don't think I could futz around with my guns No, I, I could unequip There's a sick blade. It's not called a laser blade, huh? It's called a pulse blade It's made by Takigawa I could charge it. Uh-huh. All right. I mean I could give this mech a shot see what happens, but uh paint so, like, oh, get out of here. What? I mean, I obviously, I can add colors to this, but what? And then there's the different parts of the head. Oh, this goes hard. You could really make a sweet neck with this. 
There are 29 patterns. Oh, there's 30, because there's a zero. I don't think there's going to be a Stars and Stripes, because that's tacky as hell, but this is really cool. There... Huh. 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 We're not going full stripes, but hmm, <laughs> interesting. Anyway, let's go into a sortie. I'll play for a little longer. I can replay mission. I always like that. Uh, the older Armored Core games didn't say replay mission, but you could just reselect them. Although on PS1, uh, you sometimes had to just beat the game before you could do missions again. And there were some missions that involved branching paths where you'd have to beat the game, which unlocks the entire level select, so you, that's how you would get the other branching paths. AC test, I could actually test performance, that's amazing. Also, by the way, not gonna lie, uh, the reason I named my pilot Lotus was I was hoping I, can I, can I name my mech? I was kind of hoping I could name it Prince. I was, I was gonna do that. I, I did that on PS1 and 2, I think. Also, it also occurs to me that um, my money is Coam, I don't know what that means. Can I can I really not name my thing uh but that's for the data. It's not the same. Uh, oh well. Anyway, sortie, replay, training. I'll, I'll do a mission. Complete missions to progress the story. So chat, I yeah, I can name the preset. It's it's not the same. All right, so chat, I leave this one to you. Chapter one: uh, Do I destroy artillery installations? Extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed, or do I do grid 135 cleanup, which is eliminate enemy squads versus artillery installations? So, am I going after the Rubicon Liberation Front, or am I going after enemy squads? One pays more, but who knows? Now, I'm already seeing a vote for artillery, which is destroy artillery installations. is worth 100k. I could potentially get paid more. If it's the last mission today, it should be clean up. But if not the other one, I don't know. I don't know how long the missions are going to take. That's my thing. I mean, if I take like... I don't know. If I take like 20 minutes, then I'll leave it. Cleanups in a smaller hangar, artillery is more in a city, that does make sense. Interestingly, they're both called Chapter 1. I wonder if I'm allowed to do both, or if I have to play further into the game to be able to reset. I don't know. I don't know. Um, hmm. Both can be done under 10 minutes? Well then. Well then. Alright, I'll, I'll go for artillery then. It is Baus. The city itself has no strategic value. We cannot allow them to hinder expansion of the Coral Survey. Show us your ambition. Destroy the Liberation Front's artillery. Bonus pay will be awarded for destroying their MTs. We want the enemy weakened. Consider it an opportunity to prove yourself. Impress us, mercenaries! The passion in that last bit to prove yourself. I mean, okay. I'll repeat briefing, that's cool. Assembly, I can do assembly from here. Wow. Alright, let's go. I gotta say, I do miss the map layout of another age. As long as it gets done. Done. This guy really channels David Hater. As long as it gets done. Metal Gear. Main system activating combat mode. And we're in. 
defense mission. Destroy all of the Rubicon Liberation Front's artillery placements. Wow, this guy is floaty as hell. This guy's really floaty. <laughs> Really? Get out of here. Getting bonus cash for this. I just have to make sure that my pay is better than the damage that I take. There. That's one of the artillery placements. The front is protected with armor plating. Attack it from behind. Deploy for combat. <laughs> What's that you say? We can do this. Who the hell? I got paid. Oh, it doesn't even take that much. Not from behind, anyway. He keeps calling me 621. I have a name, even though it's not my real name, sir. I do like that the double swing doesn't have to apply to the same target. See ya. Yeah, see, this is more of what I expected to be the first mission. Like, the, the very, the tutorial mission with the boss, like, damn. <laughs> like, once you figure out the mechanics, it's more doable, but damn. I've played five Armor Core games that I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> to be fair, the eight games I played were 20 years old, forgive me. Who else was shooting at me? Well, these aren't MTs. Do I even bother going after the helicopters? And I gotta pay for my ammo, too? Who even knows, man? Who even knows? Also, what can be exciting is, like, I'm not going for it now, but... What about missions where there are... Uh-huh. Hidden parts I could find. You know, just lying on the ground. You don't know. Oh, there's a oof. Yeah, stagger. All right. Oh, I see. Because it's like a sniper assault turret. Yeah. Let's uh, let's get our energy back and please wipe this thing out. That that thing's making me mad. No more sniping, please. Thank you. I guess they're all sniping, but that one's very annoying. That was clumsy. AP at 50%. Jesus, this is annoying. But that's all right. Did I? I missed it, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, that is enough of that. Anyway, you're done. I am really not doing my health any favors, though, I gotta say. Someone else is taking me on. 
Somehow I accidentally wiped the floor with that guy. That weird, like, minor alert sound when they're about to fire. Anyway, we're done. Alright, so am I just out, or do I return to base? No, I'm just out. Okay, traditional armored core. Cool. So ammo cost, repair cost, I lost 35k, but I made 60 in bonus, so I actually made 125k. I made more than the normal amount I was supposed to get paid. That's cool. That's how you do it. Ah, hello there, Lilith. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? I learned how to fight Helicopter Man. This is a notification from All Might, the mercenary support system. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Your return to mercenary activities has been acknowledged. Restoring access to the parts shop. Now we're talking. Parts shop. All right. And new exercise for training. Oh, and there's still more. Hmm. Oh, duh, because there's going to be the arena later, at the very least. Park shop. And I could sell. Now, if this is like other Armored Core games, selling is really just trading it in at full price. I could sell stuff I don't need and buy it back later, but I don't think it costs any more to buy than it does to sell. So if I have a part that's worth a thousand, then I sell it. I can buy it back for a thousand, so I'm really just loaning it for cash. It's very nice. I could sell everything I want and buy the, the mech of my dreams. Uh, buy. Yeah, you'll unlock the ability to buy more cool stuff later, of course. Rantetsu RF. It's a burst rifle. There's a handgun. That's some handgun. Uh, a bazooka. Look at that thing. Handgun, another bazooka, assault rifle, burst rifle, dual missile launcher, pulse shield, oh, yeah, for my left shoulder, pulse shield, another missile launcher, that's actually not bad, I could just fire one while it's charging, fire the other, dual missile launcher, what's the cost? Where does it even tell me the cost? There, 86k. Does it say on the screen before I select it? It's extremely weird that I can't see it until I select it. I don't know. But, alright. And yeah, well, if you could grind for money, it's really not that big of a deal. Yeah, there comes a point where you sell stuff just to pare down your menu, which is kind of funny. Oh, the white text numbers? Oh, for God's sake, on the part itself. I was looking to see somewhere in the middle of the screen or something. It's right where you'd expect it to be. I'm totally flaking on this. <laughs> How embarrassing. Um, okay, and then the head. Is there more stuff? Like, is, is there a thing where I press the button to see, like, more stuff than it initially lets on? Like, that hacking ability in the older games? Because that, that felt like cheating honestly yep yep there uh-huh mm-hmm okay <laughs> there we go i'm not looking at this right now um core damn i can't even touch the anything but the one that i have or anything but the top one w okay that's the one i have i could sell it though Ooh, the size of that thing arms Wow, jeez. Oh, I kind of like those... What even kind of legs are those? Like those insectoid? Oh, I can hold down the button. That's nice. The fact that there's no loading when I'm scrolling down parts. Because, again, the PS2 thing was... Oh, boy. <laughs> um, But, alright. I mean, by the time I get to this game for real, I'll, I'll have access to the knowledge of which parts I should probably be using permission. I'll select sell just to get this thing out of my hair. You can sell things. 
Yeah, yeah, parts are sold at a set at purchase price. Ah, oh, that's great. We're still doing that. There's no harm whatsoever in selling things. Um, well, I mean, whatever. I'm just going to keep this. I'll do one more sortie, which will be the grid 135 cleanup. I'm not going to change anything. I love this stuff. Is a key foothold in Archivist's efforts to conduct a coral survey in the contaminated city. You, the independent mercenaries, are the key to maintaining our lead in the coral survey race. Isn't this amazing? This group looks forward to news of your success. One group hires me to troll the other group, and the other group hires me to troll the first one. Nobody holds any grudges to me, just each other. Interfere with their survey study. Interfere with their survey study. Whatever, man. I'm just getting paid from all directions. <laughs> um, so cynical. And, th and they set this up in the very first chapter so you know that that's how the game works. Meanwhile, in Armored Core 1, there are workers trying to hold a strike for better pay and better rights. And they have some MTs with them. Blow them up. And you're like, okay. <laughs> Where's my check? You'll get it when you're done. Alright, alright, alright. Do you think if I replay this mission after I got a fully tricked out mech, it'll be like, you need a rep. Well, I have this awesome looking mech on the screen. Main system, activating combat mode. I appreciate the very brief loading times. Even though the PS2 games are like far simpler because they're from 20 years ago, they had more loading time. Can I, let me let me see it one more time. Actually, hold on. Oh, that's nice. I, I just I don't have to hold the circle button to keep dashing. That's very nice. I just have to let go of the stick to stop moving. That that's very nice. All right, let's take out the Delphine squads. Well, there, there's a hint for later, right? And I'm assuming that's death. I'll play it safe and go up here. I know I could use missiles, but I'm um, just whatever. <laughs> well, I'll use them now because I have to reload. Oh, oh, he's got the shield. I'm being, I'm being dumb. Let's not die, please. Thank you. Aura. Aura. See you in hell, buddy. That, oh my god, laser blazer satisfying. In the older games, they would, um, you, you could swing them a lot faster, but they weren't, like, just instant death <laughs> when they hit. This makes me think more like Doom's Chainsaw, where it's not a regular weapon, it's like your superpower button, and you can't use it all the time. God, that's satisfying. <laughs> they know the other company paid them. God damn it! Look, <laughs> that's so good. Who is this guy? The same one they hired. I don't even know if they paid attention to who they hired in the previous mission. They're just like, you're some guy. Do the job. And you're like, alright. I don't, I don't think I've heard in previous Armored Core games acknowledging that another company hired me, like, mid-mission. 
it's usually understood like they messed with us we'll mess with them but that's like when you're signing up for a new mission not that's not like during the fact like god damn it the Balon hired this guy oh didn't know about that guy was fine anyway I also appreciate that using the sword makes you really, like, target and rush up to them. That's very convenient, because it's so easy to miss. Right, who else we got? Oh, at the end? And yeah, well, the first thing you do is just take some dead guy's ID. Is that in poor taste? Yes. Uh, also, welcome to Armored Core. Welcome to every single Armored Core game where you're just a cynical money-grubbing, soulless monster who works for cynical, money-grubbing, soulless monsters. Nobody cares. Shut up, pay me. Commander Michigan. The enemy MT squad has been eliminated. And that's probably gonna be a hint for later. I'll probably have a boss fight, Commander Michigan, and some cool armored core. Alright, guess I'm done. Good for me. So, 68,000, and I cost just a little bit. So I got 57,000. That's not, not bad. Also, I beat both missions, so... Chapters. That's kind of cool. Registration number RB23. Call sign, Raven. Your records have been updated. You have also been granted access to participate in the Log Hunt program. We kindly request that you submit combat logs after destroying designated craft. All Mind will reward you with parts based on the number of submissions you provide. I like stuff like that. Log Hunt. So... Find combat logs, collect them, and improve your class. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I do like stuff like this. I guess that's just within a mission. And we are now still on chapter one. Wow. Now, I do have a world map, but I, I gotta say, I still really like Armored Core 2 Another Ages level select screen, which is just going across the various locations on the planet. That was so cool looking. But anyway, I am liking the start to this game. This is pretty rad. Uh, but this is where I'm going to